oh God, come to my assistance, O oh Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescuer, my help. O oh Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated in the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. I will celebrate this Mass for the soul of Bill Graceman. Let us pray. Draw nearer to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created, and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love I have loved you. So I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen will call out on Mount Ephraim. Rise up, let us go to Zion to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as, as a shepherd, shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord, the Lord will guard us, us as, as the shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord, the Lord will guard us as, as the shepherd guards his flock. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. A great prophet has risen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the Lord will be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. At the time Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep in the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of reading puts before us a pagan woman of amazing faith. The initial response of Jesus to her, this great cry for help, was one of silence. When the woman persisted with her request, and Jesus addresses her, Directly for the first time, he seems to dismiss her request in a rather harsh fashion. Just as the woman was not put off by Jesus' silence, she is not put off by his seemingly harsh refusal. By Jesus spoke at one point of a faith that can move mountains. This woman's faith certainly moved Jesus. This pagan woman encourages all of us to remain faithful even when the grounds for faithfulness seem to be very weak. She inspires us to keep seeking the Lord even when the Lord appears to be silent and distant. The Lord's singing unresponsiveness can be an opportunity for us to keep giving expression to our faith, just as it was for the woman in today's Gospel reading. Let us trust God. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Inspired by the faith of the Canaanite woman, we too come to the Lord with our needs. For all priests and religious, may the Lord continue to bless them in their vocations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For state and federal leaders, may the grace of the Holy Spirit empower them in their efforts in protecting all life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who experience doubt that God hears their prayers, may the peace of Christ console them and strengthen their faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this faith community, May the Holy Spirit empower us to bear a good fruit for the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially the graceman, 
May they be welcomed into the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our personal intentions that are deep in our hearts, and for all those for whom we should pray, that they may receive the graces they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear Father of love and mercy, you know our every need. We ask you to graciously hear our prayers. In the name of your Son, who is Christ the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you send us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he entered his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May for therefore this gift we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in a memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come Lord. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Peter our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior is commanded for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on the Savior, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and live spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if I were already dead, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 You have given us, O Lord, the bread from heaven, and all with all delights and sweetness in every place. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the mask is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us from God. Hear our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 coronavirus that has climbed lives and has affected men. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sea with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find current solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to help soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, Forever.